Hallo, welkom bij een nieuw tutorial on Julia. Today we will talk about the revise packets. You can, can use revise to track differences in your file. I will first show you what the different what the problem is with just using the include function. So suppose we made a packet here that has the function f which returns 42. We are now first navigating to it. So we type uh, dot comma and uh, cd uh, brings us in the home folder and then we go to a desktop revise. There's where I stored my file. And now I'm going to load this file. Includes Okay, now uh, using a, uh, you need to type dot a because uh, um, we load uh, this uh, this uh, this mod module into the current session, and that's why you have to access it via via dot a. And then we are going to use f, and voila, it is forty two. But uh, now all of, a, all of a sudden we realize we made a mistake. The answer shouldn't be uh, 42, but it should be 43. So we change the function and we save the document. We load the file again in our session. So we change it, 43. Now we're going to load the file again. And you see we get a warning and that's always a bad sign if you get a warning. And uh, using a, and we get a warning again. It says that a dot f conflicts with an existing identifier, and that is this f. Now we are going to use f, but you see we are still using the old version. But if we use a dot f, we have the new version. Well, this is all very confusing and not what you want. And, um, but uh, Revise can help us to keep track of, uh, of um, changes in, in our um, working file. Uh, so we're going to start a new, uh, new uh, session of Julia and we are going to use Revise. So we started uh, Julia again. We have, uh, oh, well, if you haven't installed Revise, you should do so first with uh, re add Revise. But I already installed it, so uh, I'm just using, uh, using uh, Revise. I'm going to uh, change my file uh, back. Um, okay, now we are going again to uh, navigate to uh, the file. So, and uh, now we use the include function of revise, and that is included with an extra t. So, uh, don't forget to use the included function a.jl and now again using a and uh, you see f is 42. Now we are going to change the function uh, f we make 43 and uh, with revise automatically Automatically keeps track of the chains. We don't have to use included. We don't have to use uh, using a if we do again f You see we get the updated version. So that's very convenient Now if you want you can uh, use revise by default and therefore um, we need to follow the instructions of um, um, 
of the on the revised uh, web page. So we're going to close Julia. We will uh, start a new session again later. So this is the website of Revise. We go to um, instructions. We are using Julia 1.4. So uh, we need to copy paste this code into the start up file. So we are going to copy this. Control C. Now the um, re the start up file is in. Uh, if you go to the C folder, if you use Windows 10. Then uh, you go to users, then to your um, username. In my case, it is admin. Then you go to the .julia folder. Then you see the config folder. And there in the config folder is the startup file. And then uh, in the startup file, we just add this code. You add it and you save the file. That's it. Now we're going again to start uh, Julia. And now Julia is automatically loading uh, Revise. So we're again going to navigate uh, to um, the desktop, then to Revise. And uh, we use now the included function. We don't have to use uh, using revise because it's already automatically done with uh, uh, when Julia starts up because we change the startup file and then uh, included A okay let's uh, change it back and now we are going to using A F 42 we're going to change it 43 and you see uh, revise kept track of the changes so this device is very convenient i have uh, some uh, exercises for you uh, install revise uh, if you haven't done so make a package and load it with included Change something to the package and observe that Revise kept track of the change. If you want, change the startup.jl file so that Julia, Julia always uh, uses Revise. Okay, that's it for today. Good luck with Revise. See you next time.